Hello there, this is a very quick video on how to install Rightminder onto your Android phone or Wear OS smartwatch. This is not a video on how to install your Wear OS smartwatch with your, or pair it with your phone for the first time. Uh, there's plenty of information out there and Google makes it relatively easy to go through and pair your watch anyway, so just follow the instructions. This is about getting Rightminder on your phone and smartwatch. So let's start to make uh, some progress with this and check that our watch is indeed paired. The easiest way to do this is to go to the Wear OS uh, application and look it up. And yes, we can see our LG watch style is indeed attached and functioning. Next, we want to go to the Play Store, type in Rightminder. There we go, it's already in there. And you want to select Rightminder down here. There's a number of different applications, but the one we want is the Rightminder Age Care Emergency application. So click on that. Now I have already purchased this item, so it is asking uh, whether I want to install it. You'll just need to purchase the, um, the application when you first go into it for the first time. Let's hit install. Uh, now it is a relatively small file, so it's only 10 megabytes, uh, which is nice and light. We didn't want a big application that's going to use a lot of data, so it is a really quick and easy download. It should only take a couple of seconds. There we go. We are ready to go. It is installed. Now what it will do is put a little icon on your home screen there, depending on your, your uh, mobile, mobile phone, but I like to just drag it and keep things nice and tidy. Now when you first open the application, which is what we're going to do next, you just need to agree to the terms and conditions, standard sort of a stuff. We don't ask you to sign up. So there's no sign up process here, this is simply one to one emergency. We go agree. Now this is very important, you need to make sure you allow the application to look at your um, GPS location and another a number of other things in there. So we just go allow. Next, it's a case of just adding your information in there. So let's start off with B E N. There we go. S L A E E R. Nope, spell it correctly. Put in my email address and the mobile phone number. Hit next. The next screen is the details of our emergency contact. Now, while we've been doing this, the application's actually, actually detected the fact that we don't have the application, we don't have Rightminder installed on the watch, which is paired. So it's popped up this little message. Uh, actually, I've clicked off it, but that's all right. If we go back here, it will tell us over here that it can get it. So that's on the watch. So let's click on that. We'll multitask this, and it's come up with the application, and we want to go install. So while that's downloading, we'll finish this off here. So we're going to have... Kirsty as our emergency contact. So we pick her, we add her email address. Should we add a different one in there? There we go. And phone number. There we go. And over here we can see that it's downloading. Now just a note on the watch, it does take a little bit longer to download on the watch than it does on the phone. Not an incredibly long time, but enough that you've got time to uh, just um, maybe go make a coffee and, and come back. And we'll, we'll hit update there, and I'll give you a very quick tour of this application. So you need to make sure that you hit update whenever you add the, uh, the details of your emergency contact details or you yourself. Off to the left here, we have a little navigation icon. The ham what they call a hamburger navigation icon. We've got the emergency contact details, so that's the person who's going to get the notifications. We've got our profile settings, and you can update these at any particular point in time. We've got the phone settings, so this is really important. So one of the things that happens with Rightminder is that you have a emergency lock screen. Uh, you also are able to turn fall detection on and off. Now I'll just show you the lock screen. So at the moment it's on, I've turned it off, I'm going to turn it back on again, nice and simple. And if we go back here and hit the off, sorry, turn the screen off, hit the, press that a little bit long, and then back on again, it's going to bring up the emergency lock screen. Now this means that if you have an emergency and your lock screen is on, you can simply press that and within 10 seconds it's going to send an emergency alert. Now you can cancel that or you can send it straight away. So press to send uh, on the right hand side. I won't do those right now, uh, we'll do that a little bit later. Uh, or you can obviously swipe to unlock and then come back to your home screen. Now a way of turning that off, 
and it's asking me to install the watch face again so it's very very smart this uh, this application there it goes see it we know it's downloading it's almost there so you can turn that off and just uh, have not have a splash screen with an emergency lock on it if you so choose you can also turn off the phone settings for fall detection so if we don't want the phone to have fall detection we can turn that off and it won't do that or we can turn it on and we can set the sensitivity now if I set the sensitivity high just clicked on the wrong thing there. If I set the sensitivity high, okay, uh, then you should see it vibrate. There you go. So that's going to detect that we have had a fall. Oh, I am okay. And I'm just going to pull that sensitivity back there. So it's still on, but it's not as uh, sensitive as before. Off on the left hand side here, we have the right minder watch face is almost finished installing. It's just doing its thing. I'll go through the rest. Uh, in a minute so let's just wait that for that to install like I say it can take a couple of minutes for it to do it once it gets to the screen here watch very carefully we need to go set watch face all right so it's going to go through and set the watch face what will also happen here once you go to the watch face is it will ask you to allow permission to access the location that's so we can get the GPS coordinates there we go and your vital signs so if your uh, watch face has a heart rate monitor that is one of the features we're going to be adding later on so we'll just put that in there we'll go yes there we have a watch face really really easy so that took um, all of six minutes so far six and a half minutes now the way that uh, you interact with the watch face we'll do in a minute but you have the settings on here as well for the watch settings can be adjusted on the phone but it's actually easier to do it on the watch. Swipe away these emails that are coming in. All right, one of the tips actually, when you do have this watch face, because for right minded, because it needs to be active all the time for right minded to function, I would get rid of other watch faces that might be there. So sometimes there might be another watch face over here. You can just do that and then swipe it away. We haven't got one of those, so we are good to go. Now with this on your wrist, it's really, really easy to access uh, all of the features of Rightminder. You don't have to go to the phone. So you just press on it and that opens up your menu. So we've got send emergency alert, we've got full detection on, we've got the full detection sensitivity, we've got find my phone and we've got a watch battery checker. So all of those things are available by tapping. Just like that. Now let's say that we wanted to send an emergency alert. We've gone tap once and we've gone tap twice. Now that will count down for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, the emergency alert will automatically send. I'm just gonna hit OK. Or you can send uh, it straight away by hitting the, the red side of the icon there. We're just gonna check this. Now this is full detection. At the moment, we've got full detection on. We can turn that off if we don't want it active. We can also set the full detection sensitivity uh, just by simply dragging that particular marker there. It's a little bit hard under my thumb, but I've just set it to finger there. I've set it to 59%. Now that will automatically update the full detection on your watch. So if you're a more active person, you may have that down lower, or if you're less active, you may have it up higher. If you are being doing something which involves uh, a fair amount of movement, it's really easy just to turn it off and toggle it on the application on the watch, as opposed to setting it off every five minutes if you're digging in the garden. And then obviously, like I said before, we've got the watch battery. Uh, actually, one of the things which, which we introduced, which is actually for a lot of apps as a standalone feature, is find my phone. So if you hit that, if you lost your phone, it's going to ring your phone if it's in proximity to your watch. So if it's fallen down behind the couch or it's in a room you don't know about, as long as the watch is in, locate, in general proximity and Bluetooth range, it will find it. All right, let's do our notification. So... I'm just going to do a send emergency alert here and what we'll do is we'll go yes I need help I'm going to send the alert so what that's going to do it's going to send an SMS uh, notification to the phone uh, and it's going to send a notification to the phone with regard to email that's going to send off an email to your carers and uh, to your carer rather to let them know your SMS sorry your GPS SMS GPS your GPS location and uh, they will be able to come and get you. It also sends a nice easy way for them to call you straight away. 
So if your phone is not within reach, all you need to do is press that button and as long as the phone is in within general proximity, it's going to send that alert. One of the things we did do is that if your phone is away from you, uh, but you're on a Wi-Fi network and the watch is connected to Wi-Fi, it will send an email. So it will actually, you won't be able to send the SMS, but it will send the email. That's a little fail safe we've built in there. Now you'll be able to see that that has gone on your watch and tap to dismiss and then obviously concentrate on looking after yourself and uh, someone will come to your aid. So that's how to send a first alert straight from the wrist. We will, see we can see there, Ben Slater needs my attention. So that's just sent to me uh, and obviously I'm receiving my own emails in this, um, in this demo. Next one there, we go, we're going to do a first, a full, full detection rather. So we've got the full detection on. I'm going to pick up the watch and activate a fall. There we go, I have fallen. Same principle, either I can send the alert straight away or I can say I am okay. Really, really easy. You can turn fall detection and set the sensitivity on the application as well. So there you go, there's an introduction to a Rightminder on your Android phone or Wear OS smartwatch. Please do reach out directly if you have any troubles or need any assistance, but uh, hopefully this does make a legitimate difference in your life. Uh, we have built Rightminder um, from personal needs and personal experience. And uh, yes, it is a bit of technology, but it's better to have peace of mind without being front of mind with Rightminder. Uh, and uh, we hope that it sincerely makes a difference to your life. Thank you.